Hey everyone, welcome back. It's just me out this time camping in the snow. I think it's going to be the first snow of the year and I'm up on the tops to try and get the most of it. It's freezing cold and got this nice little spot here clearing and I'll set the tarp up and get the little Nemo Cooney tent pitched up. But I better get going quick. There's kind of like sleety snow falling down around me now. And yeah, I've stopped moving, I'm cooling down fast, so get the tarp set up, get the tent pitched, get all my stuff in the tent and try to get some firewood. So that should be a good one. Man, that was a pretty cold setup. Finally got the tent pitched and the tarp up. Gonna get all my stuff into the tent. But the snow is starting to come down pretty heavy now. You can probably see it out there through the door, but got the tent pitched pretty good. And yeah, I'll get all my stuff in. Got my Nemo, uh, tent's a long wide pad. And I've got my UGQ bandit quilt. So I'll get all that in here, and then I'll get a soap to get some firewood. As you can see, the snow is falling down pretty nicely and the wind's died down. It's like the perfect camping conditions. The setup was, uh, you know, I was mucking around with the camera quite a lot and it got pretty cold. So it's probably best not to film like I did when setting up in the snow, also when it's wet, because you can get real cold and it's probably 
I mean, it looks cool and you get good footage, but it's a bit irresponsible on my part to do it. But anyway, what I'm going to do is get my little primer stove out. And I'm going to get a cup of tea on and try to warm myself up a bit and then try to get a little bit of firewood. There's a bit of dead stuff like on the top of the little beech trees. So I should be able just to snap a bit of that off and make a nice little fire. But if the wind stays down, this is going to be an awesome camp. So it's not unusual for it to snow at this time of year, but still, there's been like two weeks of continual rain in Nelson where I live. And then the northerly got pushed away and then our southern air. Look at this. Snow. <laughs> um, yeah, so southern air coming up right from the South Pole and smashing right into Nelson. See these? These are ginger nut biscuits and I'm going to have these with some ginger tea. Oh, it's cold, man. I should have brought up my temperature probe. I don't actually know how cold it is. I think it's forecast to get down to negative four degrees overnight and I've only got my negative one temp rating quilt. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. I might have to sleep in the down jacket with both my merinos on, but she'll be right, mate. Look at this. First snow of the year. Couldn't be better. Oh, I'm steaming. That's going to be glorious. I really need to get some firewood, but we'll see how that goes. It'll be all right. I have this tea and I'll warm up. I should be able to do a little run around and gather some stuff up. Ginger nut, God save the king. Oh man. It's getting cold. I'm pretty sheltered down in here, kind of between these kind of shrubby beech trees, but I still am kind of like on the top of a ridge. So the wind will rush over the top. The tent will be all right. I might just get a little bit of snow and sleep coming in. So nice.
I'm gonna try a lot of fire now. Um, I gathered up this wood. It's pretty pretty crappy quality wood, to be honest. And I'm not even confident that, I'll, that this will burn. We'll give it a go, eh? There's no harm in trying. I got a bunch of fire starters, so I can just chuck those in there. And it should dry this. I mean, this stuff's not even cracking. It's like, usually when it's dry, it snaps. It's nice and brittle. But this is just, it's just rotten. The fire starter in there, it might go. So what I'm gonna do is just chuck a big lump of fire starter in here and hope for the best. The wind's picking up again though, so it's just not ideal conditions, but look at this. Got a big chunk. So it should, I mean, it should go. See, once it's going, it goes. Get that in there. I'll just chuck it all in, because it's real wet. Just gotta get these sticks drying out on there. Looks like the snow's coming back in. Yeah, the clouds uh, are real dark up there, so pretty sure there's just gonna be heaps of snow coming down like, I don't know, late into the night and into the morning. I don't even have much wood, so like, the fire won't go for long, but I'm not going to stay out for ages. So I'll get into the get into bed once I've had dinner. My little fire is like, it's kind of going. It's putting out some heat now and the wind's died down a bit. And there's a little bit of snow falling, but not too much. It's gotten real cold, but just the warmth off this is allowing me to, I don't know, feel comfortable out here. I probably need to get some warmer pants. I should have brought my gloves. I, I read the forecast and it was like, there's gonna be snow, but I was like, there's no way there's actually gonna be snow. So I was kind of like, hmm, it's not gonna be that cold, but you know, silly me, it is cold. But I think I should probably eat something. Oh, there's a little bit of heat in there. I'll make sure this is actually burning. And then I think I might maybe have another cup of tea. So what I'm having for dinner is the, the Kiwi Classic, a sausage sizzle. These are the jalapeno brisket and cheddar sausages from the artisanal butcher that we have in the beef patties, but these ones have been made into sausages. So these will be real tasty. And I'm actually really hungry, so having these is gonna be real nice. And I'm just gonna cook them up in my little pan should be good. Might need to build my wind barrier. The little primer stove comes with this aluminium piece. It actually works real good. You just place that there and we're good to go. This fire is so nice. 
If I didn't have this fire, I'd just go to bed, I'd be packing the sad. So in here, I've got yeah, tomato sauce and American mustard. I'm just gonna get these sausies in, nothing fancy. Oh, and just let those cook. Don't know how long those take, probably take a while. And just wrap them in bread. But yeah, this camp's pretty cool because this is gonna be the 50th video that we posted on YouTube. So yeah, 50 videos and I'm out in the snow by myself. It'd be nice if Victoria was here, but she's got a few days of work and then she's going up to Auckland for her hens do, I guess you'd call it. She's gonna go watch the ballet. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully Victoria will be back soon. I know everyone likes seeing Victoria on the videos. Can smell these sausages cooking up good. But be careful not to burn them. I know on my last video I burnt my uh, cheese toasty a bit. Oh man, I think I need a more lofty down jacket. Or maybe I'm just not used to winter. It's kind of the first time I've been out in ages really where it's been this cold. These sausages will take a while to cook I think. They're quite thick. The snow's come back. <laughs> There's quite a lot of snow now. And these sausages are getting near done. And the fire's going quite nicely. So I can say now that this is rather awesome. Although I should probably have my tarp pulled down a bit more on this side so I'm not, yeah getting blown so much. I'm not even sure if the camera can focus because it's getting, it's detecting the snow. <laughs> Man, that fire's going good now. Oh, this is so nice. I probably should have bought at least one beer up here. But yeah, no beers, just tea. And I got hot chocolate later. All right, I think these sausages are done. I'll turn the gas off. I need to heat my brioche up. Whoa. Toast the brioche. And what I'll do is I'll just put a saucy in. American mustard. A sausage sizzle. It's a cheddar brisket jalapeno and brioche with American mustard and some Waddy's tomato sauce. Mm. And it's divine. Just gonna have another cup of ginger tea and a couple of ginger nuts. Looks like the snow's come back and it's getting real cold. I'll probably have this and then get into bed. I might have a hot chocolate in bed. 
but I'm not going to stay out in this for too long. And my fire's kind of burnt all my wood. It's putting out some decent heat, but it's not really... I mean, it's helping a lot, but yeah. My fingertips have gone numb, which is not ideal. The kettle is boiling. I feel way better after eating those sausages. I think um, I'm going to have to redo some of my setup to make camping in these kind of conditions a bit more comfortable. I think I need a warmer jacket and probably warmer pants. <laughs> it's pretty rough tonight. Luckily I'm sheltered a bit by these trees. But it's still definitely whew, rather chilly. But I'm not sure if I'll even be warm in there. If I have all my clothes on, I should be alright. Worst case, I have the rain jacket on too. Ginger nuts are rather nice. Not sure if they sell them in other parts of the world. They probably do. They go excellent with a cup of tea. It was a mission getting up here. The pack was so heavy I brought all my water up. I bought four litres because there's no water here and there's not really enough snow to melt. So carried up four litres of water although I don't have beer or wine or any crazy meal so not sure what the pack weight was but it was pretty heavy I think but I did spend far too long mucking around with the tarp trying to film getting different camera angles so if you appreciated um, <laughs> yeah if you appreciate all the camera angles of the setup subscribe to the channel please and hit the thumbs up much appreciated look at this the mighty ginger nut steaming I'll probably zip up all the zips inside the cooney tonight I need to maximize all the warmth that I can so I'll fully enclose my th I'll fully enclose myself inside of the tent. Got to keep every little extra bit of energy. I'm gonna get into bed now. Might have a hot chocolate in bed. But the fire's dying down and I don't have much. Well, there's no wood left, so I don't really want to be sitting out without the fire. And my down jacket's not really warm enough. I'm gonna have to get a huge, juicy one. I went into Mac Pack yesterday and I see they've got a new down jacket. It's got 200 grams of 800 full power down. So that's like that lofty. That should be pretty good. The wind's picking up again in the trees. You can hear that. It's kind of snowing and ugh, it's coming and hitting my face. But I'll take my boots off, get into the tent, warm up a bit, and maybe have a hot chocolate. It got changed into my dry clothes. What I'm gonna do in the cooney this night is do up these side doors. This will help keep, I don't know, a few degrees warmth in. Cause I'm gonna need it tonight, I think. So I fully zip myself in. This is the cool thing about this tent. Real versatile, we can take this thing out in summer. 
open all these vents up. There's a big one on the front door too. Or you can close them all in, which really helps trap just that little extra bit of warmth inside the tent. I might leave the one above my head open. We'll see, if I get cold, I'll shut that. But I'm sleeping on the Nemo Tensor insulated long white, and I've got my good old UGQ negative one degree temp rating. I'll put my feet inside it now. It's probably, it's probably gonna be warm. Like, I've only been cold in this thing once, and that was, was, was inside my Cedar Summit tent which just lets heaps of air in. But I sold that tent, so I'm probably gonna get some new tents. Which is good, because I hated that tent. I've just been lying down in the quilt, trying to warm up a bit. <clears throat> my hands are kind of tingling, so are my feet, but I feel a bit better now, so I'm gonna have a hot chocolate. There's a little bit of snow hitting the tent, I can hear, but not too much. I think it's supposed to get a bit heavier again in the morning. But yeah, it should be all right. Hot chocolate will warm me up, and then I'll brush my teeth and probably go to bed. But the pad's warm. The Nemo tent's a pad. I just really feel my body heat being reflected back up at me. And again, this tent, this tent is so cool. Like. My hands can go either side, all this room. And it's cool because you can pitch it like long ways and you can fit it between trees quite easily. You can see as well, there's this massive um, gear storage compartment up here. So I can fit like my rain jacket, all the stuff that I would have to have on the floor of the tent otherwise can be put up there. And there's this big vent at the back there that can be fully zipped up and let air and out through the fly, so pretty cool. And you've got these pockets, pockets here, pockets here, and you've got little ones down there as well. So there's heaps of internal storage in this tent, which is nice. The only thing is the vestibule is pretty small. But other than that, absolutely awesome tent. So yeah, that was camping in the snow. Lesson learned, um, I need a thicker down jacket, I need one with more loft and when I'm setting up camp I probably need to get changed into my dry clothes straight away and put gloves on because my fingers, they're just starting to feel normal again, they kind of went fully numb. So yeah, wear gloves, get a warmer down jacket, change into dry clothes faster, but other than that all as well. You might notice as well, um, as well, I've got real good lighting. I've got a light on the camera now. So you can see me properly and the camera should be able to focus better as well because it can actually detect my face. So I hope you're enjoying me being illuminated to perfection. Anyway, I have this hot chocolate and fully zip the tent up and probably go to bed, but it's been a pretty awesome night. Thanks for coming along everyone and I'll see you in the morning for a deluxe breakfast. I've got some nice streaky bacon and I'll have that with eggs and put it in my remaining two bits of brioche, so like a bacon egg sandwich. In my Kona's, and there's probably gonna be more snow in the morning. And then I'm gonna quickly pack up and run back to the car. But I can hear snow falling now. But yeah, good night everyone and I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for coming along and appreciate you guys all watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning everybody. It's um, about 6.30. And I'm pretty warm. I didn't get too cold last night. When I was fully wrapped up, I was okay. Especially when I put my down hood on. So yeah, I got, got my fleece, buff, a woolen beanie, and my down hood. I tucked myself right up and I was okay. But I can hear a wicker picking around outside the tent and stressing me out, so I might get up, get a Makona on. <clears throat> I could hear snow falling against the tent and the flies being pushed right in on the tent, so 
it'll be interesting to see how much snow there is. But yeah, I think it's time for a coffee. I'm mixing it up. I'm having one Makona and one strong cappuccino. I wonder how much caffeine's in these. I think there's quite a bit. They seem to get you going pretty good. Had a pretty good sleep to be honest. It's quite nice. I was surprised how warm I was. The Cooney kept in quite a bit of heat when it was fully zipped up. And I think having the hood on my head really helped too. So I didn't really freeze. It took me a little bit of time to warm up, but once I did, it was pretty good. Oh, we've got a boil, I think. Nothing better than a Makona to start the day in the tent covered in snow. Hmm. Lumpy. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll have this Makona, get my brain working, and then I'll get up and I'll survey the snow outside. And then I'll show you all how much has fallen over the night. And hopefully the wind doesn't come up so I can sit out and not freeze. Whoa. I took this side of the tarp down in the night so the snow would fall off, but obviously it didn't really fall off too good. Oh man, all the guy lines are frozen. I'm gonna try to lift this up. My hands are so cold. I'm up. I've surveyed the snow and I've fixed up the tarp a bit. But look at this. There was quite a bit of snow last night and it's not, oh, very small amount of snow coming down now. So that's pretty nice. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tie my boots up properly and then I'll get a cup of tea on. There's no way I'm gonna light a fire. A fire, I mean a fire would be nice, but I'm just going to sit out here, have some tea, and then I'm going to cook my bacon and eggs. The sun will probably come up in like half an hour. But man, it's cool just to be out here. There's like so much snow all over the trees. The gas is struggling a bit. I think I need to get an alcohol stove for these type of conditions or bring some like hand warmers to heat the gas. There's some dark clouds out that way and there's a little bit of light coming in the sky behind me. The sun will set, I mean, rise over that way. Oh no, I think my gas ran out. Quickly swap. But yeah, the tent performed really good with the snow on it. Really happy with the Cooney. I really like this spot. I'll probably come back to this spot for nice snow camps. The only downside is there's not that much good wood. But I'm sure if I came here earlier in the day, I could scavenge more and get a better fire going. What a morning. 
<laughs> Subscribe for the snow dump. It's such a nice, it's so nice being out and waking up to the dump. There must be heaps of snow way up on the tops of the mountains. I think I'm about 1,200 meters here above sea level. This is awesome. <laughs> Can't wait for my bacon sandwich. I'm gonna to have to eat it without fork and knife. There's wickers pestering around. Tried to steal my spatula in the night. I might go out to the ridge before I cook breakfast and I'll show you that. I have to walk through all the snow. We might get a view up to the mountains. So I'll go out there, show you around, come back. Then we'll cook breakfast. Whoa. It's very cold out here. The snow looks like it's gone down to about 700 meters. Forecast probably pretty accurate. But I'm real exposed right now. I'm getting wind chill. It's probably like negative 10 to 15 wind chill, I'd say. It's freezing. But this is such a spectacular morning. I mean, this is the best thing ever. Like, look out this way. You can see the sun. The sun is coming up behind me. It's just incredible. But I better get back to my uh, my base before the wicker steals everything and cooks some bacon. It's so nice to be out here. <laughs> I'm so happy that I came. All right, it's time for some bacon. Bacon's probably frozen. So I'm gonna cook that up. And I don't know if I'll do the eggs. I should be able to do the eggs too, but I don't have a fork and knife and I don't have a bowl to to put it in. So I might just cook this and eat this with my bread and maybe do one or two eggs, we'll see. Bacon's almost done. These Primus salt and pepper mills, they're so cool. It's big bacon and egg sandwich. This thing's rather immense. Look at this. Heaps of sauce. Bit of wind's coming. I'll probably have this, and then I'll tidy up. And then I'll probably pack down the tent. It's so nice. My toes are getting a little bit cold on the end of my boots. I eat my bacon sandwich, then I'll tidy all my cooking stuff up, pack my stuff up, and probably get the tent down before the wind picks up. But yeah, this is pretty nice, just chilling here eh, and having this food. It's quite the experience. Everything's frozen. The guy lines are all frozen.
leave no trace. Can't forget my milk bottle. Well everyone, that was the camp. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty cold out here and the pack up was pretty pretty brutal on the fingers, but you know, you learn your lessons and next time I'll make sure that I bring my gloves, but I just gotta walk down the hill now, back down to the car and head off home. But that was an awesome camp. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the first, first taste of winter for New Zealand and it was a good one. Nemo tent performed exceptionally well and the boots were good, my feet didn't get too cold and I just survived with the quilt Nemo pad, excellent so yeah, all in all pretty nice really and now I just got to walk through here, it's like an incredible winter wonderland there's just snow on everything look at this anyway guys that's enough from me. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't subbed, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully Victoria's back and hopefully there's more snow. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.